Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. And with another episode, of course, we have the ever known Ing, and we have him. This guy. Mr. A. Trust. How are you doing, sir? Good, man. Good. Yeah, yeah. We, we appreciate you doing this for sure, man. Appreciate you taking the time, man. So, you know, we came here. I want to make sure that this is represented properly. Mm-hmm. What made you want to come up with um, play action? Yeah. I just wanted to do something. I wanted people to taste my family's cooking. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and we really don't have like, soul food around here, so it was like, why not do it here? Yeah. All right. That's pretty much how we did it. How we started. Bro, favorite plate. Ooh, on the spot. <laughs> I do, bro. All right. Um, oxtails. Oh, oxtail for real? Um, mac and cheese. Okay. Greens. All right. Rice with the cornbread. All right. Mm. Bet, bet, bet. Cause See, you, you know them oxtails special because y'all only got them on the weekends. Yeah. We asked for them today and they're like, nah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. I believe you. What I, what I wanted to ask you is um, you've obviously you've been in the league for five years. Uh, obviously went through college, high school and everything. Um, how do you deal, how do you continue to deal with the constant hate, like on a on a daily basis? Because I'm sure, like we on the outside, we, we, we see it uh, about yeah. you, but you, I'm sure you get a lot of stuff more directly to you and whatnot, you get tagged or whatever. How do you deal with that? Uh, really just... Just let them do their thing, you know, because, like, like I said, like I told you guys earlier, LeBron had eight. We got, like, four championships. Jordan had eight. He won six. Mm-hmm. And people still hold LeBron to a high standard. He's, like, almost 40. Yeah. And it's like, no matter what you do, it's going to always be the little doubters. And that just really motivates mm-hmm. That motivates me to go out there and just keep doing what I'm doing. And if I'm not doing what I'm doing, then that's proving them right. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather prove myself right than anybody else. Yeah. Ben, I got a question. How do you feel about all the naysayers, <laughs> all the haters? Nah, I'm gonna be real. You who said that you couldn't get it done? Not just mm. in as in Lamar the agent, but mm-hmm. Lamar the player. I want to know how Lamar feels about that. Um, mm. I'm good. It wasn't for me to prove nobody. No, it was just like my thing. Like just just me. You know, it wasn't really worried about nobody. Else. I really didn't care about that. I didn't care about it. Mm-hmm. And how, how, how does it feel now that like it's done, it's done, it's a wrap, it's over. You you got you agreed to the contract. How does it feel t- for that to be behind you now? It's behind me. Yeah. You heard him. He just wants to play ball. <laughs> Dang. So okay, you got this place. You got five years. You know you're gonna be in Baltimore, mm-hmm. right? You got everything laid out. Are you making more of this place as other? Are you going to expand play action? Mm. Because I got people on Twitter right now asking if it's going to be in Maryland. Yeah. Hopefully. 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 I see a lot of fans want one of those, want one of these restaurants in there, so it might be coming to Baltimore. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers you, crossed. You got you deal with Oakley. You got the uh, the new air, the, the Oculus. Uh-huh. Um you got your deal. You got your restaurant. You got your deal. What's one of the, the next big goals that you have as whether it be a businessman, whether it be as a football player, or just Lamar Jackson? What's one of the next big goals that you have in life? My next big goal in life is bringing the Super Bowl to Baltimore. Okay. That's my next big goal. Hey, uh, I don't think anybody the, will be mad at that. That's the biggest goal like, I want to achieve right now. That's the thing mm-hmm. I want the most like, is to bring a Super Bowl back to Baltimore. Cause that's what I said in my draft night. And it wasn't mm-hmm. really about... Me going off of motion is yes. just, that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. I want to Super Bowl back to, back to the team that believed in me. Nice. Are you happy with the acquisition of OBJ? Man, he read my mind. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. He's a great player, great receiver. And he going he uh, adds addition to the team. You know, mm-hmm. we got a lot of great receivers as well, but he's a, he definitely a great um, addition because he already, he won the Super Bowl already. Right. Yeah. He done right. did a, a lot in the league. You know why I asked that, right? Because you got Zay. Yeah. You got Bate, yeah. you got OBJ, yeah. you got Mark. 
I just want to know for the fans that is watching. Can I see 50 touchdowns? I'm looking for 50 touchdowns. I want you to break Peyton Manning record. I'm dead serious with you. I want it to come down. Right, 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 man. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, Hopefully. that can happen, man. Bro. Hopefully, listen, man. Bro. You, listen, y'all not really understand what I'm feeling right now, bro, because it's not just liking you as an athlete, right? And liking the team. It's having some having somebody represent the people the right way. Even if the media doesn't believe that. And I want that to always be the message when we're talking. Sometimes when we talk about, you know, football players, we only look at them as football players. You know what I mean? We don't look at them as people. We're like, oh, they have to answer what we want them to answer. Ha. Huh? They have to do what we want you to do. Ha. Huh? Dress how we want you to dress. Ha. Huh? You know what I'm saying? And with you and with some of the other guys representing, holding yourself highly accountable, holding yourself to a respectful nature when you're around people, carrying yourself a certain way. How do you look at it when people try to denigrate the image in which you've spent your entire your entire life to cultivate? Oh man, it's just like I said. It's basically like 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 the situation with like the doubters question. Like, yeah, it is what it is because like I have to, I have a job to do, so I'm gonna do my job to the best of my ability. I'm not really worried about the outside noise. Or that's my own view, bro. I can see why the coaches like it, bro. He's like, look. Super Bowl, that's all I care about. <laughs> Yo. Now, um, right now you, you, you're the $260 million man. Um, but how, with the notoriety, the, the money that you just got, um, just everything, how do you continue to remain humble? Because I'm sure you know people, we know people that when they get a little bit of something. Good question. Whether it's notoriety, whether it's money, whether it's how, whether it's called, whatever it may be. They get a little something and, and they let it go to their head. How, how do you stay away from that? God. Hmm. God that's, the, that's the number one. Like, that should be number one. Each and every one of our lives. Keep God first and just hope, pray and He keep us humble. Hmm. And that's what I do. Wisdom and keep me humble. Yeah. No matter what's the circumstances. I like that. And are, the, oh. are you the best dressed Raven? <laughs> what is hold down? Yeah, we got our own swag. You know, I want to show the best dress because like our team, my teammates, they got their own swag. You know, okay, they okay. gonna do his thing, man. Everybody oh, yeah. gonna do their thing. Dude gonna do his thing. Pro gonna do his thing. Mm. You know. How is he? I know that dude. A lot of the guys over the years have been going through a lot of injuries and stuff like that. You were going through one yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, how do you feel? How do they feel? Do you, are you guys looking forward for revenge? Dare I say this year? I mean. I say anyone who didn't make it to the Super Bowl should be looking for revenge. Like, yeah. like, I don't care if you like you was in the Super Bowl but lost. Like everybody yeah. should be looking for revenge, not just oh, cause we was injured, we had the most injuries two years before. It's like, man, I want to achieve that goal, so I'm gonna always look for revenge until I achieve it, and then I want to do it again. Mm -hmm. like, you know, so okay. All with, of us, all of us got to win our show. Okay. With with Todd Munkin being an offensive coordinator now, what what are some of the things that you're looking forward to with his offense? We're running it. Man, just, I don't know yet. I can't. I don't even have a, like, a specific answer for you. I already don't know yet, man. Just get the uh, meet coach. I spoke to him you know, through text and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, when I get there, uh, meet him, and just go from there and just start seeing, you know, what his game plan is and how it's looking, and I probably have an answer for you. Okay, cool. I got a big one. When are we getting more of the Lamar Jackson Enterprise stuff on the internet? You you said <laughs> there was gonna be you're gonna put out something for yourself, well, the, YouTube the interview, yeah. right? And you said a couple other things. When are we gonna get the interview, sir? We getting that soon. Soon. We gonna drop that soon. Oh, uh, come. We looking for it. Yeah, we gonna drop that soon. We looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> we looking for it, bro. We gonna yeah. drop that interview soon, man. Yeah, man. Hey, go ahead. No, you can go. Coach Harbaugh, what, what's one of your favorite things about Coach Harbaugh? Coach Harbaugh is competitive. Mm. He's very competitive, man. You need that in the coach. You, know, you really need that in the coach, man. He's going he gonna to challenge you. He's going to challenge you. He might, he might say something to you in practice like, oh, you're not looking the same like, mm. like you did the year before or something like that. He's like, what? So like, it motivates you a little bit. Like, oh, man. Like, a guy just dish you a little bit. So it's like, yeah, man. I need that. <laughs> um, listen, I was, I was, you know, when he was here, I'm going to ask him something, and I, and I want to know, you know, where his mindset is for the people that think that now he's injury prone. 
because mm. right now, because Ink, t- talk to me when, when you say this. When you're looking at players in their entirety and people mm-hmm. doubting them, the biggest thing that's been the the crux that people are trying to use against Lamar is that he can't play long term. He's gonna get mm-hmm. hurt mm-hmm. and stuff like that. What do you feel about that? Um, do you think that that's something that can be used against him moving forward? Or do you think he's just gonna bounce back immediately? Nah, he has to bounce back. I, yeah. I think with the um. And it, it, it sucks because the same thing that happened to him is also, excuse me, happening with Bateman right now. Yes. Because neither one of those two, throughout their collegiate careers, mm-hmm. they never dealt with injuries. They never dealt with any significant injuries at all. Um, but in the NFL, they both had two freak injuries. Uh, so I know a lot of people have tried to label the oh, they injury prone. They're injury prone. Um, but I mean, accidents happen. It is football. It's obviously an extremely physical sport. Hundred percent to um, get hurt. So, so things are gonna happen. But hopefully, yeah. there won't be any more freak injuries moving forward. So I can't like put the injury prone label on him. I can't put the injury prone label on Bateman either, because um, just freak stuff ended up happening. I, you know, it's crazy. You know, given the opportunity to be here, it's a it's a blessing, man. Right. Like. And I always say, you know, I always want to be able to give the best information, even though we keep it light, we keep it fun, to be able to give the best information to the people. And that's why I asked that question, because I know for a fact there's so many Raven fans that have this misdiagnosis on how long he could play for and that he's not worth the long contract. And And I've been fighting against that. You know, a lot of us have, you know, going back and saying no. You know what I'm saying? This is an evolved NFL league. You know what I mean? Players are going to be moving around. They're going to be running. They're going to be throwing. They're going to be everything. It's not just sitting in the pocket like a statue. Those days are gone. Right. What do you feel on it when, when, you, when you see it, when you hear those things overall from your perspective? Like you said, it, it is a different league. Um, players, defenders, they like <laughs> they're running 4-3s and 4-4s and all that. Hey. So it's like you, you, you can't just if you can't move, then that might be a wrap for you. Like uh, I know some some people like to they like to spin a narrative. Oh yeah, uh, quarterbacks that can run, they more likely to get injured. I don't know about that part, my friend, because if you can't run, who can you get away from? Thank you. Like <laughs> the four three D end that's six five. I mean, you can step up in the pocket real quick, but I mean that that could only do so much. So but much. Uh, you you got to be able to move a little bit. Man. Yeah, man. Just 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 a little bit. So um, obviously, Lamar could can move a lot, uh, as we've seen, <laughs> yeah. and, and we uh, very glad. I know we, we we talked about the contract earlier, um, and I mean we've obviously talked about the contract this entire off season. But um, I, I'm, I'm glad that that is finished, it, it's, it's official, yeah. um, it's done. Like he mentioned earlier, it's, it's behind him now, it's, so, and it's behind everybody, really. Um, so it's a, it's a thing of the past. I know you still got to do the, the presser and everything, um, so I'm sure we'll see that soon. But um, it's nice to know that that has officially been taken care of. So yeah. one less thing for him to worry about, one less thing for the Ravens front office to worry about one last thing, one last thing for Ravens fans yeah, us. Um, to worry about. <laughs> to worry so, about, bro. We ain't got to oh. worry about none of that stuff anymore. None of it. And, and that is a, uh, a beautiful thing. Very so, beautiful, bro. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. But, Man, I'm telling you what, listen, he had the runoff, guys, so don't think that, you know what I'm saying, this is a busy man we dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> very, and, very busy. And the, what made it even better, um, like we, what time is it? We've been here for like an hour with him, or just talking. Yeah. You know, just talking. And then even it was taking a little while to get reset up again for when he came back. But Technical super, difficulties. But he was, he, was, he was super patient. He just yeah. sitting here chilling like, oh, no, take your time. Um, I, I've said this before, and i got to say it again. Everything that you see from Lamar, like on Twitter, on Instagram, on yeah. social media, at the presses, that make him, that paint him like he's a laid back person, like he's nice, like he's uh, polite. All the stuff that paints him in that image, it's, it's all true. It's all true. It's all accurate. Um, it's all factual. And this is something that we've said before too. Yep. Uh, so it's not like we're just saying it now, but it's, it's true. Um, and it remains true. So um, it, it was nice to see that in just somebody, like you just mentioned, he's busy. Obviously he's busy, bro. Um, but for him to be willing to take the time to sit down and have to. Exactly. 
Even if he if he would have came in here, hey, what's up, y'all boys, and, and then left, cool. But they do literally. We were just literally sitting here, they're chopping it up, and, yeah. and he ain't had to do none of that. Yeah. So um, kudos to him, man. That's that's special, man. This uh, we ain't ever gonna forget this, man. Never. So that 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 was cool. We, listen, and because you know, driving three hours to get here and waiting and having him pull up. Waiting, talking with you back and forth mm -hmm. about life, about football, about and, and the family. fact that he, him, like, like you think about it, this, this is the quarterback of the Ravens, and him knowing who he are, like that's that's yeah. significant. That, 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 like, yo, I love your videos. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro. Like, he's like, yo, I love the slap thing, bro. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> and it, it was yeah. like, yeah, it like, I mean, that 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 hit when when he told me that. Uh, what do you say? He's like, oh yeah, the video when you you came to the fun day with your son and everything. Yes. Like, Whoa, hold up, man. Like he was, I, I, I ain't realize that he watched me. Thought I thought it make could be a possibility, but when you realize, like that's it, it, it's crazy, man. It's like uh, almost making me a little emotional now thinking about it, man. But it's uh, he remembers you. That's that's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So yeah, it's, it's special, it's, man, and it just make you uh appreciate him not as a just a, as a quarterback of the team but it makes you appreciate him as a person as that a much person. more because somebody who is extremely busy obviously um they actually remember who you are they know who you yeah. are they acknowledge who you are and you just you ain't nobody we ain't nobody special so that's uh that's cool man very cool i, I appreciated that a lot and i you know doing this i'm hoping that a lot of the questions that we ask even though, you know, I always try to keep it light. Mm -hmm. I hope that the questions really help and you guys can. Because here's the thing. We all have questions as fans, but we don't have the access. You got mm -hmm. coming from there's We just don't have the level of access. Yeah. When you think about people like, you know, the, uh, let's say like, or Quadri or somebody like that, that interviews them and bees there at the pressers oh, yeah. or, you know, Sarah Ellison or these other people, they, they, they've had access that we've never could have dreamed of having. You feel what I'm trying to say? So having him come here and actually just do a, just a straight interview. Yeah, straight up. Straight without. up interview. Yeah. And he, and mind you guys, we weren't like, oh, you know, we want to film you. He was like, bro, what y'all doing? Bring out the equipment. Because <laughs> we yeah, attacked yeah. everything he, up. He, he the one that. that yeah. Said, yeah. So it's just love and respect, man. Mm -hmm. And when you meet somebody that is as successful as he's been, that respects you and your craft and what you're doing, yeah. you have to be humbled by it. Mm -hmm. And we are very, very, <laughs> very humbled. It's crazy, man. <laughs> like, yo. It's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about it, man. It's crazy. I always, uh, I always tell people you never know who's watching, man. You, you, you never know who's watching. So, uh, do your thing, whatever it is that you do. Do your thing, have fun with yeah. it, enjoy it, uh, put your own spin on whatever it is. But uh, that's really cool, man. That's really, really cool, man. So, so look. Um, like I said before, he's a busy man. We're not going to take up y'all times. Thank you all for tuning in. For sure. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. You already know who it is. It's Nitro the Wonderkin. It's Engraven Viz here. Shout out to Team Keep It Clean. AKA King Raven. I ain't no King Raven. <laughs> Put the K in front of the ING, bro. Nah, you can keep it. <laughs> Put the K in front of the I Don't be scared of the crown, bro. Nah. Don't be scared of it, bro. No thanks. I'm throwing that away with you. <laughs> Listen, man, we over here having fun, but no, such a great time, mm -hmm. um, great meetup. Love would do the, would love to do this again. But yeah. if you guys get a chance to come out here, we are not lying to you. We are not overselling it. The food is oh, yeah. amazing, it's on, it's on point, man. amazing. And the young lady that served us was mm -hmm. absolutely amazing during the whole process. You can actually Thank see you. her behind us. If I can move <laughs> my head, you can see the young lady back there behind us. Yes. She we, we appreciate you. She, she was Thank very, you. very kind, very hospitable to us, mm -hmm. and made sure that we were very well fed. Mm -hmm. You could tell from the cheeks. <laughs> Bro. Uh, yeah. she, she, she was extremely nice, man. Extremely hospitable. Um, just kind. Like, and, and every time I've come up here, everybody been kind. Man. Everybody been nice. Everybody just, they, they, they show love. I know it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a restaurant. No, no, you're good. You're good. No, that's okay. Hey, look, feel, feel better. Hey, look, I hope you feel great and everything. But thank you. 
We would have loved to have you, and congratulations. Oh yeah, that's real. Congratulations. Now. Oh yeah, for sure. That uh, who we're talking to? That's Mama Jackson. Yeah, that's Miss Felicia. Right Miss Felicia, yes, yes. So shout yes. out to her. They they got it done. They, they got, got it done. And man, that that's another thing too. A lot of a lot of doubters. Not not even doubters. Just people. We we saw so much people just get outright nasty. Yes. Disrespectful. About how they were going about things, how they were operating the, the whole negotiation process and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> we, we, we seen people get nasty about it, but they can't say nothing now because it got done. No matter how they felt, no matter what yep. they said, it, it got done. They, and that's, listen, we were just talking about, you know, we know that you've signed this big deal. How does it feel when you see people bring up your mom mm. with her being, I believe, your manager, correct? Yeah, she's, yeah she's your manager and them taking shots at your business acumen mm. them taking shots at your your manager aka your mom and knowing that deep down that y'all got it done with all of them looking y'all in the face and said that you can't mm. how does that make you feel knowing that hey y'all said we couldn't do it and that's just another <laughs> stepping stone that i stepped over yeah. uh, like i said like it's, it's really nice not about the people like it's like it's my business like i gotta handle my business because i chose to do this yeah and that's just how i went about it i really didn't care about what so you're doing. not proud like it's done the deal. Uh, yeah it's so done I'm, but I'm you're happy. not i mean because because i'm because i'm asking straight up like mm. when because i know that you hear because there's no way the amount of talk that goes on with your name my gosh yeah. you know and you hear the doubters that they've been doubting you your whole life right mm. but then you do something that it's almost non-existent in NFL culture, all within itself. A quarterback who agents himself signs the biggest deal in NFL history. You don't. You don't even look at to say, "I'm gonna pat myself on the back." All you're worried about is business. Another day of business. Time to get a Super Bowl. That's all that's on your mind. Exactly. Like that's just how I went about it because it wasn't like I was trying to do this to. Oh, I want people to follow my footsteps. It was like, no, I just, I chose, I just chose my own road to take. You know, I didn't really care about nobody else coming after me or who came before me. It was like, I just want to do it my way. Like, not really my way. Like, oh, I'm stepping in the family, gonna do whatever I want. Like, no, because it's a business and yeah. they've been conducting their business how they have all these years. It was like, man, I, I just felt like I, I didn't need an agent. And that's just what it was for me. Well, even though you're, I, I, and you're, you're answering it so eloquently, yeah. right? We're proud of you. I, I want to make sure that that doesn't go uh, without a doubt. Because, like I told you before, off camera, you know, there's a lot of people that look up to you, that look to you for certain things. And when you shine as bright as someone like you do, that can touch the kids in, in, a, in a positive light. Yeah. A positive light. To me, that's bigger than football. And, and I just want to say this right here. Let me to cut you off, but like. Just because I didn't use an agent don't mean everyone else might not need an agent. Like, yeah. You know, You're not fighting people, the system. You know, just... I'm not fighting against the system. I don't want people to think that, like, oh, I don't need an agent because you, you know, it's going to be guys years and years and years upcoming who's my, who don't need an agent, especially the ones who don't go drafted, who go undrafted. Yeah. You're going to need an agent. You know, so I, I want to just say, don't have an agent. I won't put that in nobody's brain. You yeah, know, I feel that was just my way. I just felt like I didn't need one because just doing our companies in college are coming out. I got you. Hmm. I got that. Um, now, when it comes to the deal, it's done, but you focused on, all right, let's do what we got to do to get to the Super Bowl. To me, it, it sounds like that, that speaks to your work ethic. Where did that mindset come from? Where did it originate with you as far as your work ethic? How did you develop that mindset over time? All right. Um, it's really like my mom, like she, she, but she's powerful. Like, um, 2012, okay, after my freshman year of high school, my grades wasn't well, like, so I wasn't able to play my sophomore season in football, so I cried a little bit, like, I don't think I cried ever since then, but like, I cried a little bit, she was like, you know, you're going to train like you on somebody football field, and you're not even playing, I didn't really understand what she meant by that, yeah. mm. but as I was grinding, it was like, I, I complained like, oh, I don't want to go to the Catch the attitude, like, hey, you like, like she knew, like, cause she knew I, I love football. But it was like, man, I don't really want to grind like a little bit. Like, I know I'm gonna go out there when the time is, when the time coming, I'm gonna do what I have to do. But she was like, you gonna grind, 
and I used to work with Coach Peanut. That was my little league coach, you know, all the way up in, like, off-season, I worked with him, like, all the way up. You know, even in college, I'd come back home off-season and work with Coach Peanut. I'm Van Warren, that's his name, Warren's Elite. Um, so, after that, it was like, I'm going to just grind no matter what. Like, yeah. I just need to do what I have to do. Like, I want to win the championship. Yeah. I got to get better each and every year. If someone tell me I can't do this, prove it wrong. But I'm putting myself right at the same time. So that's pretty much where that, that edge and that hurt ethic came from. I respect it. Now, um, speaking of work ethic, what is something that you feel um, it would you need to work on moving forward as a quarterback? So I always, this is going to always be my answer. So I probably I'll retire like everything. Every Thank you. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to tell everybody it's, a, mm -hmm. it's always yeah. getting better, right? Everything. You got to always get better. Man, Tom Brady was 58 years old, still practicing. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 58 years old in sand. Ha, ha, running with, ha, yeah. throwing balls like he's still a rookie. You can't mm. just sit out like that's yeah. like a player just sitting out a year. Mm. When you come back, he's not going to be the same. Yeah. Because you wasn't out there on that field, um, running away from defenders, getting tackled by guys. That, that, that it's going to be different out there. At least your few, like the first few games is going to be different. But it's like, man, you always got to work. Always try to perfect your craft. Like no one's perfect, but yeah. you gotta try to be perfect. Now, for um, any kids that are watching, because there's gonna be kids, adults, everybody yeah. in between watching. What would be a message that you would give to them? A kid that may be struggling to get on the team, a kid that may be struggling with the grades, a kid that's just really trying to make it. What What would be a message that you would send to them? Man, we gotta keep God first. Like pray to God. Like, and you gotta be consistent with God. Like, it's not. God, like making a wish, like you seeing a shooting star just making a wish. It's like you gotta be consistent when you're praying to God. Yes. You know? Like it's not just no one time. Like man, it didn't work, so I'm not gonna stop praying and just yeah. go for what I know. You gotta be consistent with God, and like He gonna hear our prayers, you know, because He gotta He gotta tend to all of us. Cause it's not just you praying to God, all of us praying to God. Like you know, especially the believers, you gotta believe in that, and that, that's pretty much all I say on that. Like man, you believe in God, you pray to God, like. I want to be this. He probably will give you another path. Like, nah, he don't want you to play football. He might want you to be a basketball player. Yeah. Or he might want you to be a baseball player or a musician or something like that. Hold up, hold up. Hey, y'all speak bad about this man? Jesus! Listen, man, it's a sin. It's a sin. Yo, what? Yo, what? Oh, oh, that's what y'all need, you man. You almost hit me. I promise I wouldn't hit you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why you like? My bar, man, I mean it, man. They be making me bad, man. <laughs> they mess with my blood pressure, bro. Always got something to say. They be coming up mad humble. Everything. Hey, yes, sir. No, sir. Dollar. No, it's fake. He's not really like that. Yeah, you guys are liars. <laughs> I'm you know that now. I'm sorry. I had to say that, bro. My gosh. No, no, it's important, too, because um, your character is... People, a lot of times, they try to attack your character. Um, but in... The couple of times that I, I, I've met you, it's always been the same. Just chill, down to earth, respectful. Um, anytime, and I was telling people, anytime like when we see you at the presses and stuff, we see you deal with the media and stuff like that, um, you always conduct yourself in a respectful manner. And that's, that's important. Uh, that's really important. Um, so I, I commend you for that, for, for doing that. Oh yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, those people just don't need jobs. Yeah. Right? We can't, we can't bash them and blame them. Like, oh, why did you ask me that question? Was like, we make a mistake on that field. They're like, why did you throw that pass? <laughs> like, you know, so <laughs> I really don't blame them. You know, I just try to answer the question the best that I can. Like, yeah. I really don't try to down them or, oh, I don't like this person. I don't like this specific guy. Like, it's not, none of that, man. It's, everybody's on their job. They got to get paid to feed their family as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, we doing on the field, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. And once again, I'll say, and y'all will denigrate this man's name. <laughs> By gosh. But no, last question I have for you. Last question. You've been injured, right? You've been injured. What do you have to say to the people that believe that you're not going to last in the NFL? What do you have to say to the people that believe that you're just a short stint? What do you have to say to the people that will come to you and say that your play style is not sustainable? What would you say? Not, not. I'm not saying anything rude, but what would you have to say to them right now if you had to look them in the face? Uh, I really don't care. Like, I, 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 <laughs> like, no disrespect to them. I really wouldn't care though, because it's like, man, 
Brandon Cunningham, those guys played years in the league. Like, I really don't. I brought him up in one of the videos. Man, That's ben, what I'm ben, ben Roethlisberger used to scramble around the pocket. You know, mm -hmm. and he played what? 15 years, 14, 15 years. Yep, and they used to drop him on his head. Yeah, he took some hits. Like, those guys, they, they moved him around, so it's like, man, I really don't care what people who, who hasn't been in our shoes, like the, the quarterbacks who got to scramble sometimes, make moves, like tell us we're not going to last. So I really, it really don't matter, man. I'm having fun with it, and I love the sport. I love my team, the organization, the fan base. Like, I really don't care what the guys are saying. Baltimore, he said it, guys, Baltimore's home. My last question for you. Um, let me know if it's too personal or not, but, but what is your favorite aspect of being a father? Mm. <laughs> oh, well, all three of us are fathers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I just being a daddy. Daddy. Like, that's lit right there. Mm. Like, no, yeah, that's, that's a smile on your face, right? Like, just seeing your kids smile. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's lit right yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that. Listen, Lamar, special, I just want to say thanks, man. You came here. It was, I mean, ingratiated from the time that we've been here. Um, we got to meet your grandmother, who was amazing, bro. Like, my gosh. And you came in humble, nice, great place. Yeah. Listen, what do you have coming? I want you to talk to them and tell them what you got coming up. What do you want to, because I remember you say you got the Dreamers, right? The Dreamers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My seven, my seven, my seven. Yeah. I got, you know, those guys been playing. I think they won a championship like the other day. Like, they've been balling, man. Mm. The team been balling. All, all ages been balling. <laughs> you hear that? The next generation of all stars, Definitely, all man. pros. Definitely. That's oh, what he's saying. Tell them about the fun day coming up. Oh, my fun day. Um, July 9th. I forgot what day. The 8th. 8th? Yeah. 8th to what? The 8th ninth. and 9th, yeah. Okay, 8th to the 9th. I was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So much going on, but um, yeah, yeah the fun day, you. man, is it's gonna be lit. I mean, we always, you know, we we have them every year. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, just me. It's gonna be my fifth, sixth annual. I think fifth. Fifth annual. I haven't been able. Time to. been flying, dog. Like, I'm trying to make it out yeah. to the next one. I I couldn't make it to the other one. Okay, I had one. 2018, oh. 19, 20. No, I didn't have it. No, it's because of, of COVID. Yeah. This is my fifth. It's gonna be my yeah. fifth, right? Okay. This is my fifth annual. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be lit, man. Bring the kids. Mm -hmm. Adults can come. Like, don't discriminate because you're older. Like, you can come play around with the kids, man. Like, have fun, yeah. man. It's going to be fun. Food out there. Yeah. Food truck, game trucks, stuff like that. Stuff, the trampoline. What, what is it? Oh, yeah, bounce yeah, house. Bounce house, like yeah. That. Come out, have a great time, man. Yeah, man. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Mm -hmm. It's always lit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So we're looking forward to it. And usually some special guests usually pop up. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Judy was out there last year. Yeah, Judy was out there last year. Judy Nice. Shimmy was out there. Yeah, he's nice. Judy Nice, bro. Yeah, Judy Nice. Yeah. Shout out to Judy, bro. He nice, Shout bro. Out to Judy, man. Yeah. He nice. Oh, yeah, Quick. for sure, man. <laughs> well, Hopefully, I have some Ravens out there, though. That'd be nice. Yo, for real, yeah, Mark Andrews. I mean, Zay, Zay might as well come out since he's from Broward. Might Zay well gotta come, come out. Zay, Zay and Mark. Out. Yo, Mark, if you see him, this. Bay. Is Bay. Is, I, I don't know if Bay is Bay, um, healthy enough to come out. I mean, he ain't gotta play. Uh, he could just yeah, play. If he's gonna come out, we don't wanna he's see not him. Playing. Cause I wanna throw a boy, hey, yo, you better go deep. <laughs> nah, nah, you don't need him running like the Ross, man. You don't need him running like the Ross, man. Yo. Let him cheat. Yeah, man. <laughs> but thank you so much, bro. Thank Appreciate you. For sure, you know, man. This is so much wow. fun. Look, y'all already know how this goes. This is another episode of the Wonderkin Show with your host, Nitro, the man in Raven himself. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to Team Keep It Clean. And King 8 Big Trust. You feel me? So much love to everybody watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for tuning in. And as always, you guys knows our slogan. Peace. Yeah, baby. And we are out of here. Yerp! Perfect, man.